and freedom of life. See, those who know their gods, we always stand strong. So as you run along, you got to know where you belong. See, many are the afflictions of the higher men. For the shall be delivered by the mighty hand. That's why I say, the Lord talking boys, we first be heard. Don't you ever worry, cause the weak look at truth. Even if the weak spirit truth, it will always stand. It will never fail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the guitar let me just sing a happy birthday song for covering there please uh, that is a situation the contrast put us in we can't have a good sound to really feel anything so please let's just manage we can only pick uh, what uh, we try to <laughs> quickly Yeah, I will do this now without the mic. <laughs> no point. <laughs> let's let's uh, do this together. Hey, let's uh, show our respect to him by standing up as we sing the capital of the <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday to you. So we will recognize them to come on the table. That's the last panel we are going to take for today. Then after that, we go to come up. Our video document is still remain one. Please go and find the media people. It's finished. It's finished. That's not the video we've had this for. You know what I mean? It's not possible.
So the we invite the panelists to the table. Then we take uh, questions from the Because me, the reason why I don't came here, you know the same thing. Now cake. I ate last time, I'm not going to eat this. But you know the food making us there. My boss was every year came here around for this nine years and stuff in uh said I'm gonna keep up for I'll be happy like that. Anyhow, you go. Anyhow, I'll talk about it. Okay, now. So we have to join the first with our topic, Pashua. He's here. We have to come to the table. Then, uh, from the Gary and Giz, yeah. We're going to join the table. We are going to... We are not going to waste time. The discussions will be friendly. There will be questions and answers. So you can keep your questions. Okay, so we recognize uh, Mr. Kubi is here to also try the table. Sorry, the pronunciation of the name. Doctor, may I recognize my powerful ego to be part of the panelists. Yeah, it's closing like that, so you don't need to go out to the academic uh, book. What we need is to reevaluate, to dedicate ourselves to this uh, struggle. Four or five minutes to talk about social studies struggle in Nigeria. I don't think it's something that should be difficult to talk about for anybody. <laughs> so we recognize you to join the table. We are going to spend a couple of minutes. You see, very few cases so far. You know, it's always like in a case from the Grand Valley Village in Africa. Now I don't have money, so I don't live close to them. Even if I'm living close to them, DSS is down. They don't pursue me. So now we recognize everybody at the high table. We have the first panelists, so we have the contribution so that there can be questions and uh, answers. So, I will start uh, from. Uh, So, <laughs> we recognize the other and most, uh, so there are some people now, as we did, they don't take and say, ah, how can we give them all? How will they? Because you cannot go and do such a program in the The important why you started with, you know, you don't have to be, ah, so we let you not like to go to any exercise, don't worry. Then you want to talk to me, I said, I define next, you know what? When they increase the exercise that is, and they go, and they remove such first subject in September, we gather ourselves, we knock that door, we knock it for that one hour. <laughs> the president is not in trouble, so if it's not there, if, if, if it's at home, like we want to bring him out to the media. Tell us why we cannot have the general right now with this crisis in this country. You know, so we are not fear. We will continue to oppose them. You cannot leave a resume for anybody. The reason why we have to do now is not for just monthly deal or subscription. It's for struggle. The potential responsibility of trade union is to struggle. So we have to bring the struggle to the other step. So they don't have then we go para para. you don't care, we do that. We don't go leave this place. We have to realize some people that are here to be not the next video people who are here to be a part of the struggle. Like uh, Mr. Amir, he always comes to court. He's the chairman of PACE in Abdiya. That's our club for him. Mm. Mm. 
Let me distinguish people here. Yeah. It will be given to pastor. Not we are not going to be taxing them. They already know what is at stake. <laughs> Being on the high table alone, you know, you have, when you go to church, you have this thing, they give one million donations, they get, they have a special promo for it. Oh, yes. 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 Take on the subject matter at stake, and then you will. But we are going to watch your regulation. However, you know, on this other side, to the value, you know that today, even their, their soldiers help in building roads. Now, what are our soldiers doing? One of the things I said when I was running for president, I said, Look, left to you, even our youth right now, there's work for them to do. There's work. Because the, the amount of catching up we need to do. We are not catching up, and is that catching up? Now put money in the pockets of our people. So you say you don't have light, you went and you go and beg uh, cement to come to Nigeria to give you light, Germans. You go and beg General Electric from America to give you light. What are you doing with your own hands? And your own youth? What are you doing with your own youth? So the kind of new orientation that we need. I ended up leaving that country feeling very sad and very, very angry because I mean, this was something in Africa. We're talking about Europe. I'm not talking about uh, uh, Saudi Arabia or Dubai. I'm talking about Africa. We have a black man problem. We have a black man problem. I don't know who's going to do it with your See, I want to see you. I don't have the kind of state power to read. I want to see you. Sometimes I get very frustrated and be like, no, there's no hope. I don't have the state power to take from government and they are dragging, dragging, dragging. I don't. I get very, very frustrated sometimes. And then you may be. Maybe so maybe this way it's supposed to be. Of course the other guys are there. The ones who own the power and the money, they are guarding themselves again. 2023, I have no interest. I have no interest, I'm not gonna be there. I don't know who they are going to bring, but I'm sure that they will ensure we bring someone who will continue the oppression and the nonsense and every idiocy that we have uh, we have now become used. We we'll disagree for them. We disagree, yeah. If you are going to disagree, that's my strategy. Last week I'll say, look. Protest is very, very important. And, you know, I've always said that, you know, protest is very, very important. It, what I mean is the culture of protest. That no matter who gets there, even if Socialist Party wins tomorrow, eh? let's not say, ah, okay, I'll go at one with Socialist Party, carry go. No, we must always have a culture of protest. Because if I protest, in fact, that's the most organic way and the most fruitful way of people showing what they have in mind and you know their grievances in society if everybody goes to sleep and we don't protest and say and take the issues at the end of the day society is the wrong uh so that's the bit i will i wish i could have gone into the issue of social justice in even a deeper version i don't want to leave you with that fact but our men we have a black man problem then we have a nigerian problem then the world has a nigerian problem <laughs> I'm telling you, this country is most despised in the world. You want to step out of this country, you are seen as a criminal first before until you prove yourself innocent. <laughs> and not, so they know that your big man, your, your, your big man will come there and spend money anyhow and, and steal your money and come and jump it. Then they see your young people too, they are scamming this one, running that one, and, and the other. You know, so what's the point? The world has a Nigerian problem. How are going to solve it? I don't know. Right now, I'm just in a kind of mental research. Just, Thinking about the old thing, and, you know, but I know that something will be. How to give, what to give, I don't understand. I don't know, really. Uh, Congrats, uh, Congrats uh, Ross, you know, right? It seemed to me by a few months, but you know, like I didn't say, you cannot say, you can't catch up now. Say, you guys, you can't by three months, then you can't catch up now, let us see. <laughs> yeah? You know, so, senior to senior, and of course, in this front, I'm not even sure that I'm in this problem. When I was in my campaign, I went to, I did protest to, I even carry my son, he was 15 years then. He eh? we went to National Assembly here. I've never really done that before. You know, even his mom, she don't know. Let's go. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you don't. No, but at times you have to be, you have to have your conviction. You have to be convicted about what you want to do. I also tell the boy, I say, listen, come and see the struggles of your father, the things that matter to your own father. All right, so brush your red. Have a good one. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Thank you. 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 Okay, let's do cake. Let's do cake. It's us. So, we are in forever. Back a bit. Can we all go back a bit? Keep, keep the song going. Come on, let's go. 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 Let
For this time to say you are insulting me that ah, somebody is bankrolling me or somebody is punching me, sponsor me to do what? All the rallies I have ever done against Buhari since 2015, none. I have not gathered anybody above 200 or 300 before. The people that they are sponsoring, they gather thousands. If somebody was sponsoring me, you would have seen the kind of rally that it would be. In fact, we remove Buhari from power. So, somebody is, is foolish enough to be sponsoring me, and I'll and I be gathering seven, eight people in Unity Bank. That person must be stupid. <laughs> the person is just dumb, man. To continue to sponsor me for stupidity, for me to be gathering seven, seven 40, eight, 14 people, ten, ten people in huh. Unity Bank. If somebody is sponsoring me, if we get government, you know they'll be able to sleep. Yeah. The government will not be able to sleep. So, when I see people insulting Baba, you know, I don't get angry. I just feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for them because even Martin Luther King was misunderstood. Gandhi was misunderstood. Yeah. Mandela was misunderstood. Yeah. And, 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 and look at what, what kind of insult you people insult Bella. So, that somebody is insulting me, me, insult is a moral booster. Because it simply means there's something I'm doing that you don't like, and therefore you hate me for it. So I'll continue doing it. So, and so that's my same appeal for Baba today, my Ebo. That you see, no matter what you say about, no matter what they say about you, they cannot take away the fact that they cannot compromise you. Sure. And that is what is most painful. I know politicians, once you, can, once you don't have a price tag and they cannot compromise you, they just hate you for no reason. They just hate you. So I have seen it. I have seen it. I know them. I have not, I've never said this before, but I'll say it today. I, I know many people that are in government. Many people. But they will tell you that they is a madman. He's a madman and he does not have respect. It pains them that you can look, look them in their face and tell them, get out. There's nothing you can do to them more painful than that. It's like this man. <laughs> That you know that because they are feeling like they are next to Jesus, they feel so powerful so that you can look at them and tell them to get out. And the most important lesson that I've learned from Tore is that see, you don't have to be wealth is not in the no currency in your pocket or in the account. Wealth is here, it's in contentment. If you have five naira, and somebody, somebody that has five billion, he's poor because the way he's Chasing this money, you think he doesn't have one error. But you that have five error, you are contented deep in your heart. You see yourself as a rich man, that's why the fact that you have nothing. So wealth is in the heart. And that's the one of, that's one of the greatest battles that you already have. And as young people, I know everybody here likes money. Nobody that does not like money. However, you see, contentment, contentment is the greatest currency that you can ever have. Because if you are not contented, you will land in trouble. For me, I have been in and out of jail since when I was 18, 17, actually. And I'm 41 now. So you can imagine how many times I've gone to jail. So I can tell you, I have met all kinds of people in this life. I've met arm robbers, kidnappers, murderers. I've met every, all kinds of people. And when immediately I go to jail, the first thing I do is go and meet people and start interacting with them. So I can tell you, that if you are not contented, you will always enter trouble. And you will not enter good trouble. And the reason why it's good to comment people like Tore is that they always get into good trouble. Since from the June 12th era, good trouble. Even when they are, somebody wants to frame them, you, you will see that this man has not done anything wrong. This man has not done anything wrong. So, if you must get into trouble, get into good trouble. Trouble that even your children will be proud of to say, when things were bad, this was what my father did. When things were not going well, right to the point, this was what my father did. And that's the greatest way that we can fight for social justice. And in closing, I'd like to appeal to each and every one of us. The country is not going to get better anytime soon. Let's go and see for ourselves. Life is a journey. And it's not a 100 meter dash. It was not easy in India. It was not easy in Pakistan. It wasn't easy in with Mandela, well, it has never been easy anywhere before. So, I was uh, the last time I was at the African Union uh, at the human rights session. I had a, the rare opportunity and privilege of 
discussing with activists from almost, I think, 30 something countries all across Africa, many of them in exile. And I had a wonderful discussion with the Tunisian girls that did the Tunisian Revolution. And there's something in Studenta they told me. They said they kept trying. They tried, they kept trying and trying. They succeeded on the 11th time. So it, these things take time. You, there is no magic anywhere that you just snap your finger and these criminals will disappear. These criminals, these criminals have bullion bars everywhere. They warehouse so much money, they control judges, police, army, SSS. You can imagine the way our institutions have been destroyed in the country. SSS take instruction from politicians, from police, Ministry of Justice. There's no justice. So, so justice. for us to do anything meaningful, we must have 10, 20 year plan and begin to strategically, as voter registration is coming now, we must get new people, new, new ideas. We must ensure that we, I, I, I know that COVID has not finished. So we will be lucky that many of them will still be eliminated before you know, the COVID era. However, we need to strategically, we need to strategically look for a way to ease these guys out. And the only way we can do that is long term. God bless you. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, Don't well, forget to see me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For the last time, when he rose, I remember. Hello, Alpha. Avec MUO, MUO pour deux fois personne. Fois personne, dès le cas, je peux comprendre. Non. Révolution. Non. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You don't have to organize things and people without, you know, No, no. It. Say it's not here. So, I tell you that I will come. Who can, who can open gate for you? I will also, on the other side, 
great guest most naturally. Uh, you know, she don't know anything now. Like, you which one? I start saying you did at ten six twenty nine eight. Just drop the speaker. So you know, she don't know anything about what's in the house. Uh, set up, set up, set up.